Hey everyone, it's Simon Katz here and today I'm going to do a great review on one of the hardest credit cards to get, the American Express Black Card. No, no, no. This is the new version of the card. A lot of people have reviewed it here on YouTube, but not many members I saw actually have it. So the Amex Black Card is for the big shots. We're talking Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, celebrities, etc. It's in rap songs. Tea, so all black, everything. Black cards, black cards, all black, everything. It's been one of the hardest credit cards to acquire. And just so you guys know, it's not like the Visa Black Card, which I was also a member of which I feel like was a watered down version of Centurion card it was meant to be even trademark the Visa logo name, but I did cancel this credit card. I will also go ahead and compare the two Amex black cards that I had. This is the original black card. This is the new Amex Centurion card, also known as the black card. What are the differences in terms of pricing, benefits, and everything else that you get with the credit card? No, no. The perks and benefits of the Amex card are pretty amazing. However, they do compare to the Platinum card in some ways. So you could get a lot of those benefits that Amex offers without having to pay the hefty fee. Unlike normal credit cards, the American Express Centurion card is a charge card. That means you will need to pay it off at the end of the month. My credit card bills have been, I believe, as high as $90,000 a month some years ago, and I had to pay that bill off. To be a member of the Amex Black Card family, you have to pay a $10 thousand dollar initiation fee that's ten thousand dollars guys just to be a member a one-time fee plus an additional five thousand dollars five thousand dollars that's crazy uh, so that means that you're paying fifteen thousand dollars in the first year and you haven't even spent the dollar on your credit card so i got the original amex centurion black card about 10 years or so ago and i was proud of myself for doing that it's one of those goals that may mean a lot to someone or may mean nothing to some other people but for me it was a very big moment in my life when i was able to be qualified for one and actually accepted at that time i had to spend about two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year to qualify i don't know if amex has any particular set of limit to spend nowadays they take each case uh, by case basis they review who you are what you're about if you're a celebrity if you have any social status etc and then they approve you or disapprove you uh, i applied for the centurion card there was a phone interview they went over what i do what i'm about and they finally approved me At that time i paid two thousand five hundred dollars for a yearly fee and a five thousand dollar initiation fee so my first month or first year was seven thousand five hundred to be a member today it's fifteen thousand it's double it's ridiculous it's crazy and the people that are applying today cannot even get in because they made the criteria or their selection process even more stringent no, no. The first incentive that's notable is now they give you a $1,000 Saks Fifth Avenue credit, which I believe releases $250 every quarter in spending or adds to your account. The second cool thing that they offer, Equinox Destination Membership. If you look at the Equinox website, they are considered one of the most elite gyms or gym memberships that you could have. The Equinox membership will allow you access to all of their locations. Obviously, you should check for which location they have. It may not be available in your area. Also, you now get the clear membership at the airport. So some of you guys are TSA members where you don't have to take off the shoes and you walk through a separate line. With the clear program, it's an additional paid service per year and American Express is now including that. They give you private airport lounge access. Okay, pretty cool, right? So if you're flying first class or private jet and you want a private lounge, actually a suite, you can get that through being a Centurion member. You also get a private concierge service. This is one of their accolades or top offerings. The Visa Black Card, for example, had a horrible concierge service. No, no. 
also get a priority pass select card which allows you to access a lot of lounges another lounge that you get access to and you get a special champagne uh, when you walk in is the American Express Centurion Lounge. When you present your Centurion Black Card at the front desk, they actually find a seat for you so you could eat. They reserve seats for Centurion members in the lounges themselves as they get really crowded now. Uh, so when my family and I travel, we present the Centurion Card at the front desk. We get a table so we could quickly have breakfast before hopping on our flight. Okay, so comparing the three American Express Black or Centurion card versions that I have here, you could really see that the original version basically came with engraved credit card numbers, your name and the expiration date says when you were a member since 05. Back it had a standard uh, strip for swiping and it weighed pretty good amount. The, the second upgraded version they released was the same as the original version with the same engravings. They just added the smart chip for security. And then the final version, which just got released when they raised your fee, became a little bit more modern. The texture feels a little bit different. It feels a little grainy. Engraving is a lot less noticeable. It's a little more subtle, almost laser carved or printed you can feel the american express centurion logo a little more in fact here i can't feel the logo at all it's almost as if it's kind of drawn on top while this one has a lot of texture to it the name has some texture to it as well you get this little bit more satin black i guess finish where this one is a more of a dull black it's a really nicely designed more modern card on the back you have your credit card numbers on the Amex, the new style card. On the back of this one, it would be just your signature area and no credit card numbers and the, the number to call for Centurion. No, no, no. No, no, no. One wonderful benefit of being a member is their dispute system. Being a Centurion member, I feel like the Centurion team is a lot of the times on my side. They take time to listen to the issue at hand, and I usually win those chargebacks. With other credit cards, I haven't seen the same level of attention or basically someone fighting on my side to get my money back in case of a dispute. No, no, no. No, they have the best points program, in my opinion, and I find it to be the most rewarding and valuable. So you could get your flights booked on it, you could get purchases made online. I've read of stories where people are buying Lamborghinis with their points alone because they're such big spenders. It's just an excellent program. However, you could achieve the same points program having the Platinum card. No, no, no. The big question is why are you paying $15,000 for a credit card? The real reason is that Amex Centurion Black Card makes you feel like a baller. That's why a lot of these people are reviewing it online without having it. It's one of those things everyone wants. Anyone that makes some money wants to get show off at a dinner or wherever they are but cannot afford to get it or cannot be approved to get it. So it makes you feel special. It's like driving a Ferrari or it's a Ferrari in your wallet, so to speak. And you feel great when you're when you pay with this credit card and people know what this card is all about. No, no, no. Finally, if you're looking to apply for this credit card, what you need to do is apply through the Centurion website or by calling their number. I have listed the website in the comments below. You could give them a call and they would have an application process. Again, they don't set the guidelines or criteria of who can qualify, who cannot. It's really based on your spending levels as well as who you may be in society today. Remember, this card is designed for the wealthiest individuals and they're shrinking that gap as much as they can. If you don't qualify for this credit card don't be upset the platinum card still offers a lot of the same benefits as the amex centurion card for a lot less 
of a price per year in annual membership. So consider that as well. Now, I hope you like my review of the American Express Centurion Black Card. As an honest member of this credit card, I wanted to give my first take on what it's like having the credit card. I still love having this card. I feel like it gives me a certain set of status. It gives me a certain set of opportunity and the things I want to acquire. I will continue being a member even though it's really pricey and there's probably a thousand more things you could do with that money that will benefit you further in life. One of those accolades I set my mind to and achieved, and I hope that if that's what you desire, you get what you want as well. If you like this video, subscribe and like, and I'll do some more credit card review videos, as well as some financial and real estate advice and how I got here from pretty much nothing to being a Centurion member. Anyway, thanks guys. Oh, no, no.